So in this video, we're going to take a look at converting something that's traveling in feet per second into meters per second. So this is an imperial measurement converted into metric. So let's say, for example, you have a paintball or you have an airsoft. Uh, it says it's traveling at 350 feet per second, and you want to convert it into meters per second because you're doing a calculation with kinetic energy. So I want to take this FPS, first of all, and just rearrange it into something that looks slightly more mathematical. So 350 feet per second can be written like this, which is a fraction, or we'll take it one step further, and that is to turn it into a fraction that looks like this. So 350 feet per second. So here's our first fact. In one foot, there are 12 inches, or there are 12 inches per foot. So in order to calculate the speed in meters per second, we're going to do it in increments, and we're going to do it through conversions that most people are familiar with. So we have 350 feet per second, I'm going to multiply it by the fraction of 12 inches over 1 foot, and the reason why I'm doing that is because, first of all, this is just the number 1, so I'm not changing anything mathematically, but by doing this multiplication, I can actually cancel off the feet on the top with the feet on the bottom. So what that essentially does is have only a unit of inches on the top and seconds on the bottom. So 350 times 12 is 4200 and we have inches per second. So 350 feet is now converted into 4,200 inches per second. There are 2.54 centimeters in an inch, or one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So we're gonna take the calculation that we just did. So we had 4,200 inches per second. I wanna start converting this into metric. So in order to do that, I'll use the conversion of 2.54 centimeters per inch. And again, this is just the number one. But by doing this, I can take my inches on the top and my inches on the bottom and cancel them off. So now we're going to be left with this 4200 times 2.54, and we have centimeters over seconds. So when we do that, we end up getting 1668 centimeters per second. So now we're into metric. The base unit for speed in the metric system is not centimeters per second. It's actually meters per second. Okay, so here's our fact number three. There are 100 centimeters per meter, or in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. So the calculation we just did gave us a speed in centimeters per second, and I would like to get this into meters per second. So one meter divided by 100 centimeters, this is again just the number one, you're not changing anything mathematically, but I can now cross the centimeters on the top with the centimeters on the bottom, and the only unit I have left is a meter, on the top and a second on the bottom, which is going to give us a speed of meters per second. And I have 1,668 divided by 100, 106.68 meters per second. So if we go back and look at the original question, it said 350 feet per second. Well, 350 is only three significant digits, which means my final answer can only be three significant digits. So we would round that to 107. So 350 feet per second is equivalent to 107 meters per second.